Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about circulator. Circulator is a third type of ferrite device. It is also working with the principle of ferrite magnetic material. See, this is the waveguide and a symbolic representation of the circulator with four ports. Generally, circulators are available in multi-port, uh, three port, four port, minimum of three ports are required. Okay, three port, four ports, five port and so on. It is generally a multi-port circulator with clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation. That means the signal, the electric, electromagnetic signal can be transferred in clockwise direction or it may be traveled in the anti-clockwise rotation. So, <clears throat> a microwave circulator is a a microwave circulator is a multiport waveguide multiport waveguide junction in which the wave can flow only from nth port to n plus 1 port in one direction in one direction so it is clearly saying that whichever is the port suppose if the input is applied at the first port it will be transferred to the second port if input is applied at the third port it will be transferred to the fourth port but not to any other ports that means which is in the next succeeding port will be benefited and the remaining ports are not benefited by the input waveform okay Although there is no restriction on the number of ports, a four port microwave circulator is most commonly preferred as shown here. Okay, so in general, there are multi port circulators are available in general there are multi port circulators are available most commonly used circulators are four port devices four port circulators Okay, now let us see the operation how it is working. When input is applied, when input is applied at this first port, the power will be transferred to the second port as shown in this direction here. Okay, here uh, assuming that the circulator works in clockwise direction, circulator works in clockwise direction, the power will be delivered to the port 2. Whereas port 3 and port 4 will not get any power. And similarly when input is applied at the second port, the power will be transferred to the third port and it is coming out. And there is no power from the first port and second uh, fourth port. So that means when we are talking about a particular nth port, n plus first port will be benefited and all the remaining ports are isolated from the transmission line. All the remaining ports are isolated from the transmission line. Suppose if you are talking in reverse direction, that means in anti-clockwise direction, if port 1 is applied with the input, then port 4 will be benefited, whereas remaining ports are isolated because it is in anti-clockwise direction. So, suppose if circulator 
works in clockwise direction assuming that this is the condition when input is at port 1 output is from port 2 remaining ports are isolated from the transmission line remaining ports are isolated remaining ports are nothing but which are the ports third port and fourth port similarly when input is at port 2 output is from port 3 remaining ports are isolated ok and so on now let us see with the help of Faraday's rotation how it is working and the input is applied at port 1 how it is coming out only from port 2 and when input is applied at port 2 how it is coming from port 3 and similarly when it is applied at port 3 how it is coming from port 4 let us see see assuming a condition that the electric field is applied at the port 1 ok so port 1 is nothing but in which direction the electric field is either in the upward direction or it is in the downward direction so assuming that we are applying in the electric field in the upward direction so now this upward direction electric field goes inside it is a junction because it is a it is consisting of totally four ports nothing but it's a junction see port 3 is like this port 4 is oriented 45 degrees in the print direction that means towards you suppose you are watching the screen towards you the port 4 is located and port 2 is inclined with the 45 degrees with the original transmission line like a port 1 that means the 40, there is a 45 degrees orientation from port 1 to port 2 see this is the original line line parallel to the port 1 this one okay with this with respect to this line we are having 45 degrees orientation for the port 2 now the signal which goes inside that signal even if it is going towards port 3 it will not come out because the orientation of this one will not uh, treat it as a output signal from the port 3 that orientation should be perpendicular ok now this signal touches this ferrite material which gives 45 degrees clockwise rotation 45 degrees clockwise rotation so this orients the signal 45 degrees like this the orientation of this 45 degrees now it is exactly perpendicular to the direction of this port 2 that's why it is coming out like this from port 2 the signal electric field can be coming out like that so whatever the input we are applying here the same signal can coming from port 2 whereas port 3 and port 4 will not get any signal similarly consider the second case when input is applied at the port 2 because it is having 45 degrees orientation that 45 degrees again passes through this ferrite rotation gives one more 45 degrees 90 degrees orientation that is exactly coming out from this port 3 and similarly when the signal is applied at port 3 that signal goes and again one more 45 degrees experiences and passes through this port 4 ok so whatever the port that is giving the input signal is applied the next port will be benefited and remaining ports are not benefited by this one so this is the operation of this circulator how it is actually working with respect to the junction consisting of four different ports ok 
the same is also having the experience with respect to the anti anti clockwise by taking the ferrite rotation in anti clockwise direction okay the circulator works in the clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction that is completely depending upon the inside ferrite material and the construction of this uh, circulator device okay if you are assuming that the ferrite works in anti clockwise direction again the uh, orientations of the ports will be different okay this is what the circulator and its operation in the next video we will explain the scattering matrix parameters of this circulator thank you